Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is just some quick Valentine's Day project I've been working on. I know Valentine's Day already and it's still December. First little box that I played with, this is from Andy's store and it's kind of like a little box where the handle, so once you cut this, you cut this out twice and the handle, the top section kind of folds down on itself. You can use Velcro or any other type of thing, but I hot glued mine down because I wanted it permanently shut, I guess you could say. And it's got the little handle part right here as the layering pieces for the handle. I did it in like a light pink. I used that Michael last year, their Valentine's Day paper collection. I'm so sad that Crepe Paper did not do Valentine's again this year, second year in a row of not doing it. And then this little rosette right here was gifted to me by my friend Crystal. Same with this bow right here, gorgeous. I just added a little heart to make it more Valentine's Day-ish. Look how gorgeous her bow is. Um, this bow is from AliExpress as well. Then I layered the rosette with this tool. It has like heart felt little tool on it. It's so soft. And then this hug die I just stitched across. I used this little dog ephemera piece that has like the glasses and stuff. Some of the chipboard from Target. Oh my gosh, just, I buy those things and then I never use them. So I'm like, okay, I'm using a chipboard piece on that. And then this this part of the die, this laced part, it in the pictures, it was on top of this handle, but I like the way that it looked underneath. And then the little ribbon part that goes all the way down, but I ended up covering it anyways. So yeah, cute little box. There's a pair of socks in here. So for size reference, a little bundle of socks. Super cute little box, right? I love that. Okay, so that's it for that square box. Um, then there's this one right here. I don't have all my stuff with me. So um, I had stitched this panel before I left to Arizona. So I didn't get to stitch this, this top part of the handle. This die is from Andy's store right here. And it's from last year, but it's got the little circle on it and the little heart. And I, instead of just cutting out the heart, I made like a little acetate piece in the back. Like I sandwiched two pieces of acetate and stuck some KS Craft little polymer clay bits in there. And it's kind of like a clear window versus it having a backing on it. Um, this Kisses die is from AliExpress. I just die cut it out. And then again, I use that little chipboard, um, stitch this. And I did use Velcro right here. I didn't align it perfectly. <laughs> I should have paid attention but as you can see it kind of ha it has like a gusset it's bigger on the bottom and then goes to the top and then again this this is from target paper right here i would have liked to stitch this and stuff and these beads i think these are from hobby lobby last year or maybe target dollar spot i don't know but they're they're beads was gonna string some yarn through it and like make little pom-poms on the end or like tassels but i don't have any yarn with me but i think it turned out cute and it's like i said if it look at that if it's a good decent size of stuff in there super cute little guy okay and then I was gonna do these and I just felt like I didn't have enough stuff to embellish it but this is the typewriter this is the KS craft die I finally am getting around playing with it this is from like, I'm pretty sure last year too how cute I just backed it in like a gold glitter and then stitched around the edge right here and then you cut out the other pieces like the paper and stuff the keyboard typing thing and then layer it all up super cute little embellishment so yeah that is my quick little project shares for today and i will catch you guys on the next crafty video bye guys